okay. And here's for our toning and abs for our full body workout. And I don't have a theme tonight. We're just going to work out. So grab whatever you've got and just adapt accordingly. Let's march in place on the right, 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 four, three, we'll step in line, side to side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we'll do repeat our knees for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch sides for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch for four, three, two, and switch for four, three, two, let's switch for two, switch for two, let's alternate, four, three, hamstrings, eight, take your back side, chop your arms, four, three, tap it out, four, three, add shoulder roll, four, three, next is elbow roll, four, three, let's roll our arms for four, three, reach over your head, four, three, punch forward, four, three, punch across your chest, let's twist, four, three, now we'll punch it up, four, three, next we'll punch it down, four, three, punch across, for two, punch it up for two, punch it down for two, punch across, now swing those arms, four, three, now we'll pivot to the right, tap the toe, dig the heel, swing the arms, for two, shift your weight back to your left foot, your back is flat, press down your chest, tap that right foot, four, three, tap side to side, four, three, Plant that foot, take a big step back with your left foot, push your heel to the floor, lunging forward, fingers your lace, palms turned out, we'll slide your shoulder blades apart, and rock forward. Stretching the calf and opening the hip. Four, three, next. We'll do a heel raise with our back heel. We'll lift and lower, reach and pull, up and down. Keep it going. Four. Three, two, get flexed and stretch, we'll bend the back knee in, curl the tailbone under, tilt the pelvis, scoop the abs, flex the biceps. Four, three, two, hold that knee in for a quad stretch, add a side raise to it. For four, three, two, hold it down, add left arm tricep stretch, reaching over the shoulder. Push or pull back on the elbow, lifting the rib cage and stacking the spine. Then shake it out, face the front, and march it left, left. Step touch, tap it wide, shoulder roll, elbow roll, roll your arms, reach over your head, punch it forward, punch across and twist, punch it up, punch it down. Punch across, swing your arms, four, three, let's pivot to the left, tap your toe, dig your heel, swing your arms, two, shift your weight back to your right foot, your back is flat, press down your chest, we'll tap the left foot, four, three, now side to side, for four, three, two, now plant that foot, take a big step back with your right foot, push your heel to the floor, Lunging forward, roll your shoulders, lace your fingers behind your back, press knuckles down, lift arms up, press out your chest, and then we'll rock it forward. Stretch the calf. Open the hip. For two. Now give me a heel raise with your back heel. Lift and lower. Reach and pull. Up and down. Keep this going. Four more. Three. Two. Hip flexor stretch, let's bend that back knee in. Curl that tailbone under. Tilt the pelvis, scoop those abs, flex your biceps. For four, three, 
two. Hold that knee in for quads for that to relax. Chest fly this time. We'll squeeze our shoulder blades together and back. We'll touch our elbows together in front. For two, hold it down. Left arm triceps drag. Reach over your shoulder. Push or pull back that elbow. Your cage is lifted. Spine is stacked. Shake it out. Let's grab some weights. We're going to do a breakdown set of deadlifts and squats. You can, do, you can use a tube if you want to. A heavy tube you can hold with your hands. Not on the hand but on the tube itself to shorten the length of it. You can do deadlift and squat with a heavy tube. Or some dumbbells. Grab your weights. Tap your spine. Back your shoulders. Deadlift. Hinging from the hips. Eight. Seven. Six. Five and lift. Four more. Three. Now we squat. Eight. Push your hips back. Sink down. Inhale. Exhale. But come all the way up each time. For four. Three. Two. Back to deadlifts. Break it down. Just four. Three. Two. Now we squat again for four, three, two, deadlifts for two, and one and squat for two, and one deadlift, one squat, deadlift, squat, catch your breath. Let's do some heel raises between sets of those. Right here tonight. You have an option to hold on to a dumbbell with one hand if you like. Parallel feet, spine is stacked, shoulders packed. We'll lift our heels. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, next. Up for three counts, down for one. Lift, two, three, lower. Exhale, two, three, inhale. Two, two, three, and down. One more time like this next. Up for one, down for three. Lift, lower, two, three. Exhale, inhale, two, and three, two more. Lift, lower, two, three, one more time. Regular time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold those heels up on them as high as you can. For four, stack your spine, pass your shoulders, press up to the crown of your head. For two, and relax. Catch your breath. We'll do our second set of deadlift and squat breakdown. Spine is stacked, shoulders packed. Deadlift for eight. Use those glutes, come all the way up nice and tall each time. Inhale down, exhale up. Four, three, Next, let's squat for eight. Push those hips back, down and up. Lower and lift. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two. Deadlifts for four. You got it. Break it down for two. Let's squat. Four, three. Two, deadlift, two, and one and squat, two, one deadlift, squat, deadlift, squat, catch your breath. The nice thing about squats is they work great with just body weight, but even without dumbbells, still a good exercise. Nice for when you travel. Okay. 
your raises again. Often you grab a weight, this time, parallel feet, bend your knees, lift your heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Next, we'll slow it down to half time. Come a lift. Lower. Exhale up. Inhale down. For two. Down. And one. And our regular time again. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And rest. Catch your breath. Go ahead and stretch out our calf. Put one foot forward and one foot back. Keep our toes pointing forward and our hips square. Inhale and exhale to lunge on the front leg. Once you really ground your back heel down, keep your back leg straight so you feel that stretch in your calf. Breathe and sink into it. Now let's shorten our stance off with our knee and lean forward. That deeper stretch in the soleus, the deeper muscle of the calf. Inhale and exhale the knee. Now shake that out. Let's switch feet backwards, comes forward, front foot to the back. Toes are still pointing forward, hips are still square. Inhale and exhale, lunging on that front leg. Still grounding that back heel down, keeping that back leg straight. Feeling the stretch in the gospel in your Inhale and exhale, sink and stretch and breathe. Now we'll shorten the stance. We'll soften the knee and we'll lean into it. For a solely stretch here. Shake that out. I don't think I said, or did I say, how many sets of deadlifts and squat breakdowns we would do? Because we're doing three. You thought we were done already? Ah. Final set. Grab your weight, stack your spine, pack your shoulders, start with deadlift. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. Down and all the way up. Inhale, exhale, all the way up. Four, three, two, let's squat for eight, push the hips back, down and up, lower and lift, inhale, exhale, for four, three, two, deadlift, four, breaking it down again, three, two, let's squat. Four, three, two. Ready to break it down again? Deadlifts, this time for two. And one, and squat. Two. Now one deadlift. One squat. Deadlift. And squat. And rest. Set those weights down for a moment. It's a little calf, a little, excuse me, a quad stretch here. Shift our weight to the right foot, and then the left leg, grab the foot or ankle, pull back, open the hip, stretch those quads. Keep the chest lifted, so you're opening your hip. Try to pull your knee back behind your hip if you can. Now we'll kick that left foot forward. If you've got a chair to put it on, feel free to do that, otherwise, just dig your heel into the floor. Inhale, tall. Exhale, hinging from the hip. Pressing chest down with the thigh. Get that nice hamstring stretch here. Inhale and exhale, pressing deeper. We'll rise back up. Bring that left foot across the right foot. Push the right hip out. We'll sway left. 
we'll get that nice lateral bend here. Opening up the hip, breathing and sinking. Relax. Let's ground into the left foot now and then the right leg. Grab the foot or ankle, pull up and back, opening your hip and quads. And breathe. And lift. And stretch. And then we'll kick that foot forward, we'll bring the heel. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, folding at the hip crease. Again, if you've got a chair to put your foot on, that's welcome. You can do that. Bend and press. Inhale and exhale deeper. And we'll come back up. We'll step that right foot across that left foot. We'll push that right hip out, excuse me, left hip out, and sway to the right. Breathe and sink and sway. Relax. Let's have a seat for some toe taps. You can have a seat and slide your heels a little further forward than your knees. We can rest the weight on our thighs for resistance. We're going to flex our feet. And tap our toes from side to side. Feeling it in our shins. Eight, seven, six, five, side to side, four more. Three, two, one, and now we'll stop. Set our weight aside for a moment. Let's take a second to ground into our sits bones brace the core, lean back and balance so we can just shake our feet out. We can make circles with our toes in one direction, we can reverse directions, we can point and flex the toes, we can make fists with our toes inside our shoes and open, make fists and open, fists and open, we'll shake them out again while we're here. Let's grab one dumbbell and again we'll balance on our sits bones. Now you have an option here. You can just lift your heels and keep your toes down. You can pick your feet up and balance the long spine, rotating right and left. It's right and left. Spine is long. Russian twist for eight, seven, six, five, side to side, four more, three, two, and one. And rest. Catch your breath. We'll probably do some side lying leg work toward the end when we get down to the floor, so we'll do those side things later. Let's do some chest now. Let's do another breakdown set of flies and half time presses. That way they pace the same, because I always do my flies in half tempo anyway. So we'll do flies in a half tempo, but I'm going to mix those tempos up with my presses. So, your weight shouldn't be super heavy. If your weights are too heavy to do this with the flies, you just do presses the whole time. Grab our weights and lie back. If you've got a tube and you have a door anchor, you can do this with the door the same thing. Do your door anchor with your tube for chest flies, chest presses. Starting with flies. We're going to ground our shoulder blades. Weights up, palms are in. And we fly. Bring it out to the side. And back to the center. Inhale as we lower. Exhale as we lift. For six. And lift. Inhale five. Exhale up. Down for four. And lift. Three more. 
elbows through the set. And two. Up. Next, it's chest press, but down for one count, up for three. So we're going to lower and press for two and three. We'll inhale down, we'll exhale up for two and three. Chest press for six, to press, two, three, five. Lift, two, three, four more. Lift, two, and three, two, three, and press. Three more. Down, up, two, three. One more time like this. Now it's back to flies. Break it down. Just give me four, two, three, four. Lift, two, three, four. Three, inhale. Exhale, back up. For two, fly. Next, back to chest press, down for one count, up for three, for four, press, two, three, three more, and lift, two, and three, two, up, two, three, one more time, back to flies, but just for two, two, three, four, lift, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and chest press, down, up, two, three, one more time now, break it down, just one chest fly. Bring it out, bring it back for a press. Down and up, for two last fly, out to the side, and back for a press. Down, up, two, and rest. We'll bring those weights down. We will catch our breath, and we will do, hmm, what could we do here? See, we're lying on our back. Hmm. I know. We'll do reverse crunches because I love reverse crunches. We're all going to curl our spine and lift our hips up without swinging our legs. We have an option to grab on to whatever we're lying on for support. We'll just rest our hands on our head. Head up, head on our hands. We can float the head. We can double crunch if we like. Just curl the spine. Lift the hips. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. Scoop for seven. Peel that sacrum off the bench by curling your spine, not just swinging your legs, please, for four, three, next, half time, curl, and lower, exhale, inhale, up, and down, let's keep it going, like this, four more, and down, Three, and down, and down, for two, one more time like this, guess what, let's go back to regular time, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, hug your knees into your chest, try to relax your head and neck, rock out your back, Take some nice deep breaths. We'll do our second set of our chest fly and press breakdown. You can release your legs. Grab your weights. You can ground your shoulder blades. Weights up, palms in for chest fly. Five, six, seven, eight, out. And in. Down, two, three, four, and up. Lower, two, three, four, and lift. Keep it going, please. Just like this. For four. And five. Three more. And lift. For two. And up. Next. Half time chest press. Lower, two, three, four, lift. Four, bend, extend, it's down, it's up, keep it going, like this, four more, and press, for three, and lift, for two, exhale, one more time, break it down, press flies, for four, and lift, Three more, inhale, exhale, back up, two, and fly, 
Next chest press, down for half, so they can half high. Sorry. Lower. And lift. Bend. Extend. Two more. Down. Up. One more time. Break it down. Two chest wads. Out. Down. And up for half time press. Lower. And lift. One more time, let's break it down to one chest fly. Out, and back, and press, lower, and lift, and fly. It's out, and in, and press, and down, and up, and rest. Bring those weights down for a moment. Let's catch your breath. Before we do our third set of those, let's grab one dumbbell and do a double leg stretch pull over. Now the dumbbell is optional. If you don't have a dumbbell, you don't have to use a dumbbell, you can just use your body weight. It's going to be easier if your legs are higher, harder if your legs are lower. So focus on your spinal alignment. Don't let your back arch like this, keep it braced and neutral. That tells you how far you can raise your legs. Protect your spine first. Work in the range that works for you. You can also just keep your legs up if you want. If that feels better. You can decide. So grab a weight. Round your shoulders. Pack them down. Weight is up. Able to knees. Close your head. And then lengthen. And lift. Inhale out. Exhale in. Bring it down. Bring it up, inhale out, exhale in, for 12, and pull, 11, and lift, inhale, exhale, down, two, three, four, and up, for 8, and pull, 7, and lift, 6, inhale, Exhale up. Five, two, three, four, pull. Four more. Home stretch. For three. And lift. Two. And up. One more time. Let's rest. Let's catch our breath. Still have that third set. You probably know what tempo we're going to use for our presses. I think I heard somebody say it. Down for three counts, up for one. But we'll start with our flies again. So grab those weights. Lie back. Ground your shoulders. Weights are up. Palms are in. Here we go. Lower and lift. Inhale, exhale, chest fly for six, and fly, five, two, three, four, and lift it back to seven, four more, inhale, exhale back up, for three, two more, out, and in, now next is chest press down for three counts, up for one, so we'll lower for two, and three, and lift, Inhale for two and three, exhale. Bend for two and three, extend. Keep it going just like this for four, two, three, and press. Three, two, three, and lift. Two, two, three, exhale. One more time, let's break it down. Back to chest, flies four, four, two, three, four, lift. Three more, inhale, exhale back up, for two, and fly, one more time, back to chest press, down for three counts, up for one, lower, two, three, lift, inhale, two, three, exhale, 
Fast two, three, extend. One more time, let's break it down to two chest flies. Out to the side, back to the center. One more time, two chest presses. Lower, two, and three, and lift. One more time, let's break it down. Just one chest fly. Out, and back for a press. Down, two, three, last fly. Out, in and press. Down, two, three, and rest. That's your breath. Set those weights down. Let's sit up. Let's open our arms. Let's squeeze our shoulder blades together. Gonna pulse back. Feel the stretch across the front of your body. And a big pulse to release it. Okay. We better do some rows next. I think we're gonna stand. Going to use two dumbbells. Do our rows very much the same as we've got chest press. Three sets, mixed tempo. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. That way it's equal because we have the front and the back the same way. That sounds good, right? All right. <sighs> going to stand. We're gonna grab our weights. Hip twist stance. Parallel feet. Sit back into a squat, leaning forward. Pull up to your sides and row. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Pull for four. Three. Next. Up for three counts. Down for one. Pull. Two. Three, lower, exhale, two, three, inhale, up, two, three, and down, one more time, back to regular time, eight, seven, really squeeze your shoulder blades back, pull up to your sides, for four, three, two, and one, rest. Catch your breath. Side bends. No. No. Shrugs. We haven't done shrugs in ages. So grab those weights. Roll your shoulders back and pack them down. Now shrug it lower like this. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. 12. 11. Work your trapezius. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Relax. Those muscles are sore, sometimes we're going to kind of help you like release them down, release some tension there. So let's just do that. Let's just take a breath. Shrug and just release it. Shrug and release it. Shrug and release it. Nice. Coming up on our second set of rows. Running out of water already. That's a lot of good signs. Hip with stance. Grab your weight. Squat. Lift and lower. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Zero. Four. Three. You know what's next, right? In two. We're going to slow it down to half time. And lift. Two. Three. Four. And lower. Two. Or an exhale up and inhale down for two and down one more time regular time please 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. All right, this time we will do our side bends. And I'm going to give you an option here. Our side by hip with stance, back of the spine, holding the weight in one hand. Now the spine is tall, so you're kind of lifting up and over. So even as you bend to the side, you're just sort of lifting up your spine to the length of your spine. You have an option here, you can tempo if you like, or half time, which is this, or tempo, which is this, or half time, which is this. So you've got that choice. We will do both sides before we go back for our third set of rows. Grab the weight with our right hand. Stack your spine, pack your shoulders, your choice, tempo or half time. Here we go. Keep it tall. Come up each time nice and tall. Pressing up with the ceiling. 12, 11, 10, 9, Seven, six, five, flex for four, three, two, and one. Take a breath. Hopefully you felt that in the opposite side from where you're holding the weight. That's the side that's lifting and lowering. Let's switch hands, move the weight to your left hand, pack your shoulders, stack your spine tall, get ready, lower. Bend and extend. Down and up. Inhale. Exhale. For 12. 11. 10. Bend and extend. 8. 7. 6. 5. Home stretch. 4. 3. 2. 1. Got your breath. Third set of rows, final set. Grab your waist in with stance, drop into your squat, and row. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Next, up for one count down to three. Lift, lower, two, three, squeeze, release, two, and three. Two more. Up, down, two, three. One more time. Let's go back to regular time, please. Eight, seven, six, five, four, four three, two, and one. Rest. Alrighty. Let's stretch out our lats. Interlace your fingers. Turn your palms out, press out. Slide your shoulder blades apart. Do a nice stretch across your upper back. Breathing and pressing. Now let's shrug our shoulders, roll them back and down, and raise our arms up. Sway to the right. We'll feel the stretch in our lats and our left side. And even in our oblique, which we also work, our obliques. Inhale, length, and exhale, fold deeper. Breathe and sink. Let's inhale to rise back up. Exhale and sway to your left. Inhale, expand those ribs. Exhale and sink deeper. Keep breathing and sinking. Rise back up. Check it out. Do some overhead presses next. Now, if your weights are too heavy for overhead press, do side raise. Excuse me, if they're too light for overhead press, do side raise. If you're too heavy for overhead press, just use one weight. 
You got a two, you can do overhead press with your two. I like to sit on my two and do overhead press. Whatever works for you is fine with me. You can stand and do side raise standing. Overhead press and side raise both work the deltoids. If you're using weights, hip with stance, spine stack, shoulders packed, rack your weights, get ready and press. Lift your lower. Up and down. Exhale and down. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, almost. Four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. We'll do reverse fly or rear delt row. So if it's reverse fly, you're using a tube, you'll just hold your tube in front of you and stretch it out this way. If you're using dumbbells, reverse fly if your weights are lighter. Stand out to the side of you doing row, palms facing back, with your elbows. Your elbows go right out to your side. Choose your option, choose your stance, get in position. Five, six, seven, eight, lift, row or fly. Breathe, keep it going. Twelve, eleven, ten. Nine, go for eight, go for seven, go for six, go stretch, four, three, two, and one, rest, get your breath, repeat those. Second set of side raise or overhead press. Take your stance, rack the weights. Press. Lift and lower. Up and down. 12, 11, 10, 9. Press for eight, seven, six. Home stretch. Four, three, two, and one. Rest. Let's stretch out our shoulders. If you have a towel, you can use a towel. We'll gather it up. Pull the shoulders back. You can hold the towel. Interlace your fingers. And press the knuckles down to the floor. Lift the chest up. It's going to stretch our deltoids, but also that trapeze as we worked earlier. We did our shrugs. Stretching that too. Three and press. Alrighty. Let's move on to our last set of reverse flies or three delt rows. Grab your wing or two. Choose your stance. Get in position. Get ready. And lift. Row. Exhale. Inhale. Up and down. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Four for eight. Seven. Six. Long stretch. Four. Three. Two. And one. Put those weights down. Take your right hand across your left shoulder. Keep that right shoulder down. Pull that right arm over. Getting our nice posterior deltoid stretch. And we'll switch sides. Left hand over right shoulder. Left shoulder is down. Pull over. Breathe and stretch. All right. 
move on to some arms. Let's do some concentration curls tonight. You'll need one dumbbell. I like to always recommend that you start on whichever arm you perceive to be weaker. Grab that weight, brace your elbow against your inner thigh, use your leg to brace your arm, curl up to your shoulder, lift and lower, up and down. Exhale, inhale. Concentration curl for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, almost, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let us switch sides. Grab your weight, brace your arm on your thigh. Five, six, seven, eight, curl it, lift it, up and down, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, curl for eight, lift for seven, six, almost through the set, four, three, two, and one. All right. Oh, we're doing more of those. Just second sets. But first, let's balance. Let's lengthen our spines. Let's cross our arms. Let's turn our arms to the right and knees to the left. Let's switch it. Arms left, knees right. Keeping that spine long, that sternum lifted. Turn back, arms right, knees left. And one more time. Nice. Okay. Second sets of concentration curl. Go back to the side you started on, grab your weight, brace your arm. Five, six, seven, eight, curl it. Lift it up and down. Let's do 12, 11, curl for 10, lift for 9, up for 8, 7, 6, home stretch, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Second set, second side. Grab your weight, brace your arm. Here we go. In five, six, seven, eight. Lift up and down. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Curl for seven, lift for six. You're almost through the set. Four. Three, two, one. Let's catch our breath. Open your arms with your palms facing forward. Twist your thumbs under. Press your arms back. You should feel the stretch in your upper arm and your biceps. Nice deep breaths. All right, we did biceps. That must mean it's time for triceps. If you have options here. You can do dips. But we're doing four sets, so you might want to not do dips for four sets. You can do kickbacks, kneeling or standing. You can do overhead tricep extension. So I'm going to do what I often do, which is do one thing first and something else second, but you can do whatever you like. And I'm going to start kneeling with one weight to do some kickbacks.
Tucking elbow to side. We're going to straighten this arm back. Five, six, seven, eight, extend. Now the weight shouldn't swing forward, it should just go straight down. Twelve. You're going to try to straighten your arm. So the more you straighten, the more you engage those triceps. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Whatever you're doing, you can switch sides. And get ready. Extend and bend. Lift and lower. Up and down. We'll do 12 more. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Almost. 4. 3. Two, one, rest. Catch your breath. We have two more sets of triceps. Your choice. I'm going overhead tricep extension this time. My weight is up. Brace my arm, lift my back. Five, six, seven, eight, and extend. Keep it going for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and press. 6, and lift. 5, and exhale up. 4 more. Two, one. Switching sides. Second set, second side. Five, six, seven, eight. And extend. Down and up. Lower and lift. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven up. Six, almost there. Four, three, two, and one. And rest. All right. That should be it for our dumbbells. Let's stretch out our triceps. If you'd like to use a towel, take it in your left hand, drape it down your spine, turn your right thumb under, reach all the way across your back and up as high as you can, grab that towel, pull down. If you don't have a towel, just pull back on your elbow. You want to feel the stretch in the back of this upper arm, of the upper arm, the top arm. You want that elbow pointing up as much as possible, not out here, but up. Move the towel to the right hand, drape it down your spine, put that left thumb under, reach across, reach up, pull down. Tricep stretch. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, John, you promised us some side leg work later. Now, I have not forgotten. Let's move down to the floor. We'll do some leg beaters. So once you lie on one side facing me, To rest your head on your arm, stack your shoulders, stack your hips, angle your legs forward slightly, keep your feet parallel, top leg comes up, keep it stable, bottom leg lifts and lowers, up and down. 
Try to squeeze your thighs together. Exhale, inhale. 12, 11, 10. Squeeze for nine. Lift for eight, seven, six. Home stretch. Four, three, two. Now hold both legs up on one. We're going to pulse both legs. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Catch your breath. Ah, nice deep breath. Expanding your ribs. Let's bend our top leg back. Grab the foot or ankle. Pull up and back, opening up our quads and hip flexors once again. If this were yoga, I'd call it a half bow, a side lying half bow. We're going to roll onto our backs now. Grab that same leg with both hands on the thigh. Draw the knee to the chest or pull it down beside your rib cage and push out through your opposite heel. Breathe. You should feel a nice glute stretch in your top leg here. Now we're straightening our top leg up, holding behind the thigh or calf, letting that hip sink into the floor. Inhale and exhale to deepen the stretch in your hamstrings. Next, we're bending that knee with the opposite hand, pulling that leg across the body, rolling onto the opposite hip, keeping our shoulder blades grounded, extending our arm out to the side, rolling our head away from the knee. Get a nice, gentle spinal twist. Don't force it, don't wrench it, just let it sink and melt. By coming back to center, we're crossing our top ankle over our bottom thigh, making a number four with our top knee. We're grabbing the bottom thigh with both hands and hugging in. Doing our supine pigeon. Opening up our hips, pressing our elbow into our top thigh. Breathing, stretching. Let's release that. Let's switch sides. You can either roll over away from me or turn end to end so you're still facing me. Just make sure you're on the other side. Hips and shoulders stacked. Legs angled forward slightly, parallel feet. Top leg comes up about 30 degrees. Bottom leg lifts and lowers. In five, six, seven, eight, lift and lower. Squeezing thighs. Exhale, inhale. For 12. 11, 10, 9, lift for 8, squeeze for 7, 6, home stretch, 4, you know what's coming, 3, we did it before, 2, hold both legs up on 1, we're going to pulse both legs, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, give me 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. The hard part is over. Deep breath. Bend that top leg back. Grab the foot or ankle. Pull up and open. Quad stretch, hip opening stretch. Use your breath to open the joint. Let's roll onto our backs. Grab that same side leg with both hands on the thigh, hugging in. Draw knee to chest or down beside the rib cage, pressing out through the opposite heel. Glute stretch. And now we're straightening our top leg up, letting our hips sink into the floor, holding behind the thigh or calf, inhaling and exhaling deeper into hamstring stretch. Now we're bending that top knee, 
With the opposite hand, we're pulling the leg across the body, rolling onto the hip, still keeping our shoulder blades grounded, extending our arm to the side and turning our head away from the knee. Just breathing and melting into our gentle spinal twist. Coming back to center, we're crossing that top ankle over the bottom thigh. We're grabbing the bottom thigh with both hands and pulling in for our four stretch, our pigeon stretch. Pressing our elbow into that top thigh, hugging in, opening the hip. Use your breath. Let's relax and uncross our legs. Let's plant our feet a little wider than hip width with our knees falling inward. We'll just windshield wiper our knees a little bit here. And we'll roll over onto our hands and knees whenever we're ready. Bringing knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. You can always use fists for wrists. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift your chest and tailbone, looking forward. Exhale, scoop your abs, pull your spine, look in at your knees. Inhale, lift, look forward. Exhale, scoop it in. Lift. Scoop. We'll come back to neutral spine this time. We'll curl our toes under, roll back onto the balls of our feet. We'll inhale and exhale to come up to forward fold. We'll inhale and exhale to rise up. Take a saddle stance, a little wider than hip width. We'll take three deep breaths to finish. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Pull those shoulder blades down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Inhale. And exhale. Good work. I can tell you all did a good job. Keep up the good work. We'll see you next time.